Climate change is arguably the most severe challenge facing our planet. The leading cause of climate change is greenhouse gas emissions in which carbon dioxide is the main contributor. More than 110 countries have committed to achieving carbon neutrality by mid-century to save our living environment. Carbon neutrality refers to achieving net zero carbon dioxide emissions. To further explain, the amount of carbon dioxide released by human activities into the atmosphere should be absorbed by carbon sinks like forests and oceans. Then we achieve carbon neutrality. Excess carbon dioxide emissions come from human activities are from sectors like energy, manufacturing, transportation, agriculture, and construction. You might wonder if the carbon dioxide produced by human breathing contributes to climate change. Well, don't worry, because it is a part of the natural cycle. The natural process adds and removes carbon dioxide to keep a balance. In contrast, industrial activities add extra carbon dioxide without removing any. Plus, the amount of carbon dioxide emitted by human breathing is too negligible to be counted. Last year, China pledged its goal to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Researchers said if the world achieves its goal of emission control, then we will be able to limit the global temperature rise within 2 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. As individuals, we can help achieve carbon neutrality as well. To do that, we need to reduce our carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, generated by our actions. Using public transportation to get to work instead of driving a car. Turning off lights and unplugged devices when you are not using them. Line drying your laundry instead of using a tumble dryer. Reusing atoms wherever you can because everything you put in the bin adds to your carbon footprint. Simple actions could add up when everyone joins in. And with countries putting more and more efforts, we will achieve our goal of building a low-carbon future.